I'm gonna walk into the gym like this, and then I'm gonna rip off the grocery bags. Who's laughing now? Chicka chicka slim shady. Belief in yourself and, and going all in. I'm gonna start this, and I'm gonna make this happen. I want you to do something with this video. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Brian Mark, coming at you with another episode on this channel. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about three things that you need to know about starting your own business. And I'm also gonna take you guys through a back workout. No, it's not a back workout, it's a push workout um, with one of my clients, Keith Arrington, who I actually helped start a business last year, and now he's making $40,000 a month. So sit back, relax, enjoy the episode, let's go. Get out of my box. You're not gonna actively contribute to the growth of it. I did, did you You're just standing in front of the camera shaking your ass. My socks say, Merry fucking Christmas. Also, this is literally genius, look at this. My so that's not genius, that's Dude, annoying as fuck. You're gonna slip and fall in. So you are gonna go, and you're gonna go to the gym, and then take your shoes off, I'm, and I'm gonna walk into the gym like this. I'm gonna walk into the gym like this, and then I'm gonna rip off the grocery bags and get right to my workout. Y'all see, y'all see. Make fun of me because I had grocery bags in my shoe. Isn't that, isn't that right? Unless you got something to say to YouTube? <laughs> got something to say, but then Kirsten spent five minutes put, putting her shoes on and taking them off. I spent zero minutes because I just ripped my grocery bags off and now I get to go work out. So who's laughing now? Huh? Who's laughing now? The gym right now and we're gonna be walking through a upper body slash push day. So we're gonna start with some abs, then we're gonna do some low incline Smith press. Um, and those, those are the two first exercises, and that's all I know for now. So, let's fucking go. Today we're working out with Steven Story. What's up? One of my clients who's, who's hit $10,000 a month, absolute stud. We've got Keith Arrington, one of the million dollar mastermind students. At 50, What's up? 40 to 50 grand a month right now, what's going on, Doc? Man, I'm fucking ready. Let's ready go, dog. 5 a.m. wake up, Monday morning, let's fucking go, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Slow that down, bro. Way slower. Almost like pause at the bottom. Yeah, there you go. Slower down, slower on the way down. There it is. It's a big difference, bro. We're in the middle of the workout right now. I have an absolutely nasty pump in my chest. Starting out Monday, we're doing some push. Uh, so right now we're doing a little bit of incline chest. Then we're gonna go to, over to flat dumbbell and we're gonna do a giant. So what a giant set is, is by Jared's definition, is choosing a weight, which is 50 pounds, doing as many reps as you can. So it'll probably be like, you know, 19 to 20 reps. Resting for 30 to 60 seconds, doing as many reps as I possibly can until you get to a certain number of reps. So we're gonna be giant setting up to 55 reps. Love that I'm working out with another online coach who also has his camera on him. It's fucking beautiful. Yeah, it's inception, camera bro. Inception. Camera inception. We're grinding. We're, yeah. we're both growing on the tube. We're both going all in. Let's go, Steven. This is iron energy, by the way, you guys. Like, this is the fucking energy of my gym. Like, this is what we're doing. We got, like, content creators in here. Iron energy on the wall. It's just a different yeah. atmosphere, a different vibe in this place. Let's go. Okay, so now we're gonna rest for 60 to 90 seconds and then we're gonna hit it again and get as many reps as we can until we have three reps left in the tank. What? Let's go. Boom. Hold on. Chicka chicka slim shady. Different style training, I love it. The first week actually fucked me up. And I was looking at the workouts, I was like, four exercises? Okay. And then I got up, I was like, okay. amazing workout with like three exercises yeah if you're actually focused but it's like and honestly because there's only four exercises in my entire plan it's like I want to really be intentional about everything yeah and like the biggest thing for me is like oh he's like you need to just focus on making sure that you're making progress every week which is why if you want to keep his clients and you have trainer eyes it's actually a really good thing because trainer eyes will literally show you the, the reps and sets that you had last week and so every week you should be making progress whether that be one more rep or a little bit of extra weight. It's like progression, progressive overload is like what you're after, right? Giants, 
success, boys. Oh, absolutely insane. Just so full right now. Humbled. I feel humbled. <laughs> Dude, I know. See, I'm reducing. I felt the same feet. way, bro. Overhead tricep extensions. We're doing a giant set. So as many reps as you possibly can. And then you rest, and then you do that until you get to 55 reps. <laughs> Keeping your elbows as close to your head as you possibly can. Fully extending at the top. So the topic of today's video is three things that you need to start your online fitness coaching business. Now, Keith, in your opinion, before I get into my concept, I did this in my last video too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before I get into my concepts, what do you think are one of like the, the main things that somebody would need to start an online coaching business? Uh, number one is just belief in yourself and, and going all in. Like when I first started online, I, I literally left myself no other option. Yeah. Moved out to Victoria and just said like, this is it. We're also yeah. moving back home with my mom. Yeah. So 100% belief in, in going all in is definitely my number one. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And Steven, one of my clients who say ten thousand dollars a month in the coaching so, program. What do you think is something that anybody, somebody needs when they're first starting on my coaching business? I honestly think, and this may sound like I don't, we're on VMark's YouTube, so I don't want to sound cheesy, but a mentor or some type of guidance because you can try. It's like going to the gym, right? You can try go to yourself, and you can make some progress. But if you really want to start that business to take it to the point where you can quit your job or you can get more income or more than your job right now, you need help to take it to that next level. And why struggle? for years on your own when you can get to example what he did 10k in three months dude and like I, i'm a big believer in mentorship and i still have a mentor and it's like that's why people hire you as a trainer that's why people hire me as a business coach because like why would you make the same mistakes when you could just learn what to do and just avoid them exactly, exactly. Yeah. i love it i love it let's go big boy Let's go. So this is Aswar, Patty's business partner. No, as we're doing a YouTube right now and it's titled uh, three steps or three things you need to know before starting an online fitness coaching business. Now you're pretty much business partners with Pat. So what would you say new online trainers need to know before they start their online coaching business? Uh, I'd say the, honestly, the most important thing is uh, getting into the trenches. So uh, if there is anything that anything to do with your business, if you're not willing to do it yourself, uh, it's not going to get done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I find like people want to pull the trigger and like hire people to do something. Yeah. If you haven't experienced it and done it yourself, there's no way you're gonna be able to train someone to do it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you don't know the struggles of every aspect of your business, um, you don't know how to solve it. And if you don't know how to solve it, how the fuck are you gonna get people to do that for you? Boom. Um, I love it. And then the other thing would be hire the right mentor. Mm. Obviously, I'm biased because I fucking love it. <laughs> but um, you're the second person to say that in this video. <laughs> But to be honest though, like you're not supposed to figure everything out on your own if there's a shortcut or if there's someone to tell you exactly how to solve something. Yeah. Why the fuck are you wasting your time doing it? Boom, I love it. Um, and then the last thing is uh, work on your mindset. So yeah. come in, be a winner before you win. Yeah. Or else you're not gonna win. Gonna Boom, I love it. Patty lifts. So this guy is actually making $100,000 a month as an online fitness coach, which is absolutely Bro. insane. Thankful to this guy. So, my man. Um, for the YouTube, what would you say is one thing new online trainers need to know before starting their online fitness coaching business? One thing they need to know is uh, move fast with imperfection and just do it and perfect as you go. Because I feel like a lot of people, they get an analysis or paralysis by analysis. And they just don't make a move to move forward. You just got to get right in there, start, and then improve over time. Don't Boom. overthink it. Boom. Boom. All right, you guys. So we just finished up at the gym, um, Keith and Steven and I had an amazing workout and you guys were able to hear from them some of the strategies. Oh, by the way, every single student that you just heard from, um, every single person that you just heard from is one of my students that has hit $10,000 a month. So it's the three of 193 people that have helped hit $10,000 a month. So you've heard from them what they think it takes to start an online coaching business and all three of their advices were valuable, including Aswar's. Um, and once I get home, I'm gonna tell you guys what my top three things that you need to start an online coaching business. And by the end of this video, you're gonna have a ton of valuable takeaways because we had one from As, one from Pat, we got one from Steven, one from Keith, and I'm gonna give you three. So, turns out, this is seven things that you need to start your online coaching business. All right, you guys, we are back at the crib. Got my PT Dom mug. I actually just finished up my 
company team meeting. So every single Monday I meet with my leadership team um, and we discuss where the company's at, what we need to work on, et cetera. So again, I'm running PT Domination right here. We have um, 1,200 students in our level one coaching program. We have over 50 students in our mastermind program and we are planning our next event. So just have a company-wide meeting going over the biggest things that we need to focus on. Now, let's get to the three things that you need to start your online fitness coaching business. Now, you guys heard from you know some of my amazing students. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think. So number one, you need strategy. Now you need strategy because if you don't have strategy, that's like going on a road trip, getting in your car and starting to drive and not knowing where you're going. You might end up somewhere where you like and you might not, but like if you don't have the strategy, like you don't have the roadmap to get where you wanna go, you could end up somewhere that you don't actually enjoy. And so strategy you can get, you can get from a bunch of places. Of course you can go on YouTube and watch videos like this. So if you're subscribed, you're, you're subscribed to my channel, I appreciate that. You can listen to podcasts. I've got a podcast called The Change Lives Make Money on the Training Podcast. Or you can hire a business coach. Now it all depends how much time you wanna put into it, right? Like if you wanna spend the one, two, three years learning it and doing it on your own, that's fine. Or if you'd rather hire a mentor and get there faster, that's fine too. Whatever works, but at the end of the day, you need strategy. So that's the first thing that you need. The second thing that you need is batteries. Now, when I say batteries, what I really mean is like, you need the energy to like sustain and move forward. Like you need to be able to take fucking action. I think that so many people end up learning something, but then they don't end up executing it. And that's, you get caught in this analysis paralysis, like Pat said, like you need the batteries. And when I say batteries, like you need to be able to put your all in, you need to go all in on everything that you're doing. And like, that's what's actually gonna get you to that next level is having the batteries to say like, I'm gonna start this and I'm gonna make this happen and I'm gonna do it right now. So if you're watching this video, what I want you to do is after the video, I want you to do something with it. So don't watch this video and then don't go, go do anything. Like I want you to do something with this video. So number one is strategy, number two is batteries. And the third thing, and this is the final thing that you need to start your online coaching business, is you need patience. Guys, I've been posting on social media for eight years now, eight. And in the last two years, that's when my business really blew up. Like my business was doing decent before, but it took me like years to really blow up. And I think that so many people start this new venture, online coaching, and when they don't make $10,000 in their first 30 days, they get discouraged. But what you don't understand is that online coaching is the only business that you can start today and make money tomorrow. Like you can't buy a gym and start it today and make money tomorrow. Like you're gonna have to invest so much capital in that facility just to get it going. Whereas like online coaching, you can start today with the right strategy strategy and the right batteries, you can make the right post and you could literally sign a client tomorrow from it. And that's like a gift. And so don't take this gift for granted. Like you need to have patience. And if it doesn't start popping off for you right away, then like maybe you need to improve your content. Maybe you need a better strategy. Maybe you need more batteries. Maybe you're not posting enough. But at the end of the day, if you don't have the patience, what ends up happening is you'll post for two or three days. Nothing will happen. You'll post for two or three months. Nothing will happen. You'll get discouraged and you'll quit. And you'll go back to working at that job that you don't actually like anyways, which is why you wanted to start online coaching. But because you lack patience, you end up, you know, giving up when you might be like three feet away from gold. So the three things that I think you need to start an online coaching business are strategies, strategy, batteries, and patience. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's YouTube video. Hopefully you guys got some value. If you did, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and tell somebody about this channel because the truth is I'm going all in for the next 365 days. You guys are gonna get one video from me every single day and in each video my goal is to teach you something. So I'm gonna take you on my life, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing every single day, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating, how I'm training, etc. And on every single video that you guys tune into, I promise to give you one piece of actionable value. So that's it, that's all. I hope you have the best day of your entire life and chase your dreams. Let's go.